inside the half of Selborn College. Yeah, and Ryan Denston on the ball. Good scrum there by Queens. To put Selborn under a bit of pressure in this first five minutes. Yeah, Clayton Swartz and Daniel working really well there. As I said, wow. it, a beautiful <laughs> kick there from Ryan Dunson adding the three points and uh, obviously was uh, listening to my instructions and that was on him. And, uh, adds the three points to Spinel and uh, levels are scored three all. Solmon College. Now that looks to be the flank thrown in there, possibly. Uh, of Selborne, um, can't really see the backs, but they seem to be spread out quite evenly on the back line. So maybe a little move in the midfield and then spreading the ball outside wide. Yeah, pick and go by eight, and it's a little crash there from his centres. And Selborne quickly go over. Fennel, he'll look to obviously give the fullback a good clean wall. I think it looks like Oliver Schmidt in the pocket there. So big scrum here from Selborne, dominated up, ball popped up to Fennel. And uh, he'll take on the exit himself. Right winger Jed Stone today is uh, fallen out of due to injury. And we'll see a line out here. Misread by both line out jumpers and palmed for. A nice strike by Denson, and he gets the extra three. And Queens take the lead again, leading this first team fixture after 16 minutes. Like he has hit it and he's hit it well nice and low nick out of the wind i thought when he hit it he might have pulled it to the left from our side yeah but it was just the an angle and he uh, cleaned that straight through the upright uh, good work from them and uh, both of them are quite tall players probably the tallest players in the team yeah. nick at the moment and uh, both sides are still just making a bit of mistakes so uh, good ball here from ryan denson looking to go around the blind, blind side as he uh, Selborne with a short man line out. It's a lovely ball to the front. And pop to pay. A bit difficult not finding their jumpers. So McGregor goes in. Beautiful work here. And it looks like they will set up a mall. And uh, Selborne now will look to work their way in as they do. And that's working extremely well for them as they head now towards the trial line. And uh, working just outside, trying to keep that ball in. And unfortunately, not finding it. But uh, ball. So uh, five meters out. Scrum to Selborne. They can go left or right. So. Uh, Early shoving there, says Dan Null, and uh, quick tap and going. He does take it, does Clutie, and can he get over? Great defensive tackle. Don't know if he was back five meters. So, they can go is the call. It looks like it's one of the back line players, but he's well taken up there, and looks like he's over. And that is McGregor, and uh, great work there by Selborne. And uh, thought maybe they've taken the wrong option quickly. It's another clean strike by Paige Fennell, well accepted by the crowd and Selborne now lead us first team FNB Classic Clash. So Dunstan been 100% so far on the kicking boot, takes a strike, and finds the extra three points so he keeps that uh, percentage range around 100% and uh, Queen's close the gap now to just four points, 39 is the score. And uh, great work for the first time in this game. The lanky winger, but again loses the ball in contact. And now Queens with the breakaway. It looks to be the speedster Mveli Molo. And he's going to go all the way with the dive and the momentum over the trial line. He goes. The speed of the man showing there. Fantastic finish by Mveli Molo. This is his most difficult kick of the afternoon. Denson looks focused and poised. It's a clean strike by the number nine. And a well received bar. The traveling fans from Kumani. The flags go up. If they can control that mall. So McGregor to feed. Beautiful taking. Clutis comes down. Ball's up. So now they can't bring it down. So Silbo now need to just try and control it. McGregor's at the back. There's another penalty here. But it's going to get there. And uh, ball went down ground. And uh, McGregor gets his second try of the day. And uh, I'd love to see that replay again. So we'll take a lead now with a kick to come from Fennel. Fennel just pushing that kick to the right. 
But uh, half time is called here by the referee, Dan Mill. By Queens, and it's a good line break here by Mveli. Oh, Lord, we know how good he is. He's stepping himself through this back line of Selborne. He sells himself, and through the post he goes. A fantastic try there, Mveli Nkolo. Young man, where have you been? A fantastic finish by the number 15, Lau. Queens coming out with fire in the second half. Here Hill's running to score a try. And uh, Dunson adds the two points. So first strike to, to Sterling Primary School there for those three young men. As Paige Fennell adds the three points as Selborne level the score 21 apiece. But with a bit of distance, the wind's swirling a little bit. Needs to be a clean strike. It is a gain. And the flags are raised. Denson. Patience needs to be shown by the home side. And Sakela with the step and go. The gap opens. He goes around the first aiders. Over the trial line. Sakela goes. You can't brat this up. This is a fantastic finish here by Selborne College. And it's that center. Siam Tanda Sakela. Great rugby intelligence. Using the first aid as a defender. Running around them. Getting over the trial line. He's just telling the fans, let's just quieten it down here. Block out the noise. Welcome. The ball comes out wide. Can Dan Bretzky go over in the corner, but he steps inside. He's brought down to ground and a tackle is made. And he's lost the ball forward in contact. And that will be the game. Queens College taking out this FNB Classic clash against Selborne College. 26 points to 21. Lyle Hansen, a fantastic game by the traveling side. Absolutely. Queens to clean out the game 26-21. Sylvan will go back at the drawing board and say, how do we lose this game?